Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for this 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. So day 10 will take us to the 20th of August. And we'll be able to send out beyond that with the excellent GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe around a couple of weeks. Of course, we'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the first part of September. And I'll get to that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video today has a 6 AM UK weather forecast. And if that's not enough, we will also release the 7th autumn 2025 update so check out those two vids if you'd like to do that like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content make sure to everyone for geographic gas weather thank you so much everyone right let's start off in the national with the national hurricane center two interest areas so we've got a, a yellow x just here uh, which is disturbance to just a 20% chance of site transformation with that one in the next seven days. Don't have to worry too much about that. But we've also got a red X just here uh, moving out of Cabo Verde Islands or around Cabo Verde Islands. So check this one out. Uh, that is disturbance one with a 70% chance of site transformation. In the next seven days, a broad area of low pressure associated with a tropical wave is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms just east and southeast of Cabo Verde Islands. Environmental conditions appear conducive for gradual development of this system and a tropical depression is likely to form by the middle to last portion of this week while moving west northwestwards at 15 to 20 miles an hour across the eastern and central tropical Atlantic. Locally heavy rainfall and gust winds are possible today and Monday through portions of the Cabo Verde Islands. So that could well become our next tropical storm and or hurricane and we shall keep a close eye on that one. Of course we will. Right, coming back home, uh, latest wind from that from Earth, Nordschool.net shows high pressure is in control over the country. The low pressure is out in the Atlantic, being blocked by that area of high pressure. We will bring a weather system into the north and northwest tonight, though, tomorrow morning, because that, that could have some heavy rain uh, with it. But uh, then after that, the trend is drier, but also hotter. Central temperature is uh, currently sitting at 16.6, that's 0.8 of a degree, but the 61 to 99 average is provisional to the uh, 8th of the 8th, 8th of August. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, we've got Birmingham today, the red line is the third year temperature average for Birmingham, for Brum, starting off around average of the upper air temperature, but they can be lifting up over the uh, next few days, so becoming hot, uh, our next heat wave, who I think this is the fourth heat wave of the south, anyway, of the summer, um, coming up, and temperature peaking around Tuesday, could be getting to about 34 or 35 degrees then, in some places. After that, the upper air temperature come down, but still remaining significantly above normal, right way through into the second half of August, really. So no sign of any cool or tunnel weather there. Precipitation-wise, it's going to be a lot of dry weather over the uh, next few days. And even when we get the change from hot to slightly less warm conditions, not really much sign of uh, a lot of thunder with that. So again, another thunderless breakdown, probably. And even into the last stages of uh, August, looking relatively dry. So as we said, yesterday, 10 to 14 day of a drought could well be set to intensify. Temperature anomalies for the next five days, the 15th of August, substantially drier than normal. 10 to 14 day also comes out a bit uh, drier, a bit uh, what am I talking about? Well, warmer than average. So let's go back to that again. Temperature anomalies for the next five days, coming out substantially warmer than average. And 10 to 14 day comes out above average as well. Precipitation wise, so next seven day anomaly to the 17th of August, looking uh, significantly drier than normal. Okay, let's start going for chart data. Remember, this is our latest UK bet. Your run looks for midnight on Wednesday. Under slack gradients, then high pressure strengthening to the south 
from the southwest later in the week. And high pressure reforms over the weekend and is uh, therefore we have a high and dry weekend again next weekend, bringing in some very hot air from south from southeast as well. The UK met really ramping up heat potential for uh, next weekend with plus 20 cells ice firm covering much of England West. I think that's a bit of a stock to count liar. But, you know, it's a possibility you won't be ruling anything in or out. So that could be a very hot, dry weekend next weekend. This is how uh, Icon is looking. So again, slack gradients midweek and then layer pressure out to the west into weekend. So certainly nowhere near as uh, anticyclonic or as hot. There's a UK Met there with Icon telling us that there is quite a, bit, quite a bit of uncertainty in terms of what's going to happen next weekend. The Icon actually looks a little bit cooler and more showery for uh, next weekend. OK, well, then we've got the KMA. This one uh, also with uh, slack gradients through the middle part week. And then high pressure reforms into uh, next weekend. But a fungi low tries to push it from the south. That could bring some torrential downpours into the south, to the southwest. And then we're just under a, a, a trough, really, as we move uh, up towards day 10. Uh, beyond that, so, or well, heading to day 10, ridge out to the west, and Mesber remains of that tropical storm and or hurricane that we started a video of talking about moving up towards Nova Scotia. What about the GFS Midnight Run? Uh, well, once more slack gradients around the middle part of the week. Then we start uh, turning a little bit more showery, cooler into weekend. So that UK met your run. So being so hot and so kind of def definitely looks a little bit of an outlier here, doesn't it? Statically, doesn't mean it's wrong, but just means that there aren't many other models going uh, and doing uh, going forward and doing what that's doing. Again, there's the remains of that tropical storm and or hurricane moving into the North Atlantic to the east of that. Got this big area of high pressure. And so the upshot with that low, just to keep high pressure in situ in the North Atlantic, really. Um, the position just to the west, northwest, allows some cooler, fresher air coming from the north, from the northeast at times. But basically, high pressure continues into the Bank Holiday weekend and even beyond it with a lot of dry weather there. And what about GFS 6 -er? Well, again, that's raising pressure into weekend. So that looks a little bit more like the UK met. I have to say it's not as hot but looks a little bit more like it that high pressure building over the country next weekend bring potentially uh, a hot weekend and then that high pressure sitting close to the country up to day 10 maintaining a lot of dry weather there's the remains of that trouble storm or hurricane in the North Atlantic as well uh, the high pressure just uh, continues to sit through the country as we move into the extended range to we do start pulling some cooler air from the north and uh, from the northeast into the bank holiday weekend, but still mostly dry. Uh, so again, a lot of dry weather over the next couple of weeks, and at times pretty hot as well there with the six Z. I think. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Love is Get to Subscribe to you. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. 30 subscribers, 30, I should say, subscribers will get us to uh, 25k so you could give us stuff. That'd be awesome. Thanks so much. Love it. So much. Love it. Okay, so sorry, everyone. GM, again, uh, slack gradients through the middle part of the week. Then high pressure being, being reinforced over the country next weekend. Oh, uh, UK Met's not alone in that idea of bringing the high pressure back next weekend. I think it is uh, an outline in terms of the uh, intensity of the heat with that. But, uh, well, watch your space. Let's see what happens. And then we head up towards days 9 and 10 with a thundery low starting to uh, head in from off the, uh, from uh, the south, sorry, move up from France. And then the ECM rounding it all off again with slack gradients through the um, middle part and last stage of the week. Then high pressure re-strengthens over the country next weekend. Brings a lot of dry, warm, very warm weather with it. Possibly hot, that's to be determined. And then a gradient is going slacker 
around day 9 10 with some showering conditions uh, returning and then beyond that heading into the extended uh, we go to a north south split with high pressure south low pressure uh, up to the north that gets us to bank holiday Monday by the way bank holiday updates will be starting at Gav's weather feeds tomorrow this is the precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tibet.com. Shari rain from the north over the next couple of days, mostly dry down in the south. Um, heading in towards the middle part of the week, could be some thunderstorms, um, particularly for more central and northern regions, maybe one, maybe one or two down in the south. And a few showers coming and going, but again, the emphasis is on a lot of dry weather. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. And it will be getting us to the 20th of August. 20 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure, more or less so, top of the country, most dry, warm or very warm. 13, high pressure between Iceland and Scotland, again, mostly dry, warm to very warm. 11, high pressure just out to the west. Around that, we could bring in something a little bit cooler from the north and from the northeast. And 7, with high pressure to the north and northwest, ridging to the northeast. So, again, we have a lot of dry weather with that. Most of the options at day 10 not to be involving high pressure. Exact placement to be determined in two weeks' time. These are the options that we've got. Gets us to bank holiday Monday, 25th of August. 12 members of the ECM ensembles then have a trough of low to the east and bring the wind in from the north. So that could be quite cool and showery, actually. And they've got 11 with high pressure pretty much over the country, mostly dry and warm. 11 again, high pressure bringing a lot of dry, fine weather. 9 with uh, high pressure uh, over the country, really. And 8 with high pressure towards Scandinavia. And a thundery low over France. So, about the majority option, just if the 12 here, which is the cooler and more showery option. Actually, if you put the 11 together with the 11 together with the 9 and probably the 8 here, you come away with a strong majority still in favour of high pressure and mostly dry conditions, even at two weeks out. And um, then the CFSB2 uh, looks like this. So, uh, 500 millipower high time to break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 10th to the 16th of August. Next week, high pressure over and just the east of the country, drawing up those hot southerly or southeasterly winds. Week 2 is going to be the 17th to the 23rd of August. High pressure again over the country, up towards Scandinavia. Winds coming in from the east, mostly dry, very warm, could be hot. Week 3 will be the 24th to the 30th of August. Again, high pressure pretty much over the country, not much difference really. But change to week 4. Do -do -do. It's the 31st of August to the 6th of September. High pressure goes up towards Greenland, seemingly, and a trough of low sets up over UK and Ireland, that could be obviously a lot more unsettled and cooler into the start of September. But it's a long way off, four weeks away, so we shall see. Time will tell. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's say what you about this and all my videos. Content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. So don't get to subscribe too. Show you what you for doing that tomorrow. 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We're going to begin the countdown to the final Bank Holiday weekend of the spring and summer. That, of course, oh, we're a bit blurred. That, of course, is the August Bank Holiday weekend. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day, as always. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.